This is officially our $5 day in New York City. I'm not sure about this either. If it fails, it fails. If we succeed, I'll eat my own hat. We're starting this with big brain energy because there is coffee in my hotel room. It's complimentary. It's literally free. Wait, why is there no coffee in my hotel room? Where's coffee? They said I was getting free complimentary coffee. This is tea. Hmm. This four star is suddenly giving three stars. Not them making me go to reception and beg for coffee. Not me going to reception. I have five dollars for the day. Do you need coffee pots? I'm sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, no problem. I have someone send them up. Sitting in my room waiting for my free coffee. Me and my five dollars that I've got for the day. Hello. Oh, hi. How are hi. you? Let's make a free coffee. I love free everything. Free anything, I'll be happy. This is also free water they gave to me on the day I checked in. We got the little coffee pods. So I guess we measure how much coffee we want. Maybe this much. And meanwhile, I'm gonna prepare the milk. Oh, I'm making a mess. So this is a total of six. It's free. By the way, if any of you actually wants to do this, you can go to any bakery and just get these for free. Every time I see it, in fact, I put four in my pocket and I try to spread it across many places around my area so that I'm not damaging a single company. They'll survive. So this is how much milk we got for free, which, you know, it's not enough for like a latte, but it's free. So I didn't want to take more than that because it'd be too much. I am going to pour the sweetener in. You know me running a boot like Starbucks. <gasps> oh, it's going to start melting the cup. That's my free coffee. And the best part of this is I haven't spent a single cent yet. Everybody clap for complimentary. There's there's chunks in it. There's like floaty thingies on the coffee. Look, <laughs> there's like chunks of something. Why is it like that? <gasps> Look at the bottom. Okay, not the best quality coffee. At this point, nothing can stop me. So we're gonna add the milk. That's not too bad, you know? Not the actual pieces of coffee. Like it's like chocolate chips or something. It's free. It's all I can ask for. You know what they say, no coffee tastes better than free coffee. I don't think anyone has said that, but I, I said it. I am not gonna look at the chunks. I am just gonna go with it and move on. Still haven't managed to try this coffee because it is literally hotter than the sun. It is so hot. Me blowing in the sun. Expecting to change the weather. Good morning and welcome to my rich day. This is the day where we actually have $500 to spend. This might be controversial and people will be mad that I'm gonna say it, but it's the truth and I'm gonna say it anyways. These days in New York City, in literally Manhattan, that's not a whole lot of money. You will see why, because I just bought tickets for the Empire State Building on my phone and it amounted to $177, which fair enough. It was like $80 per person. If I didn't have the camera, it would only be $80, but still that's like one fifth of the money for the whole day in one activity. But we'll worry about that later because right now I want coffee. I kind of want to copy what we did yesterday, like mirror the things so we see really the differences in how much fun we have, what kind of foods we've got, and it's an easy comparison. I want to get coffee in my hotel room. So there's the coffee shop downstairs. It seems kind of expensive. I've never been there. Let's go and get coffee from downstairs. These look so good. And the best thing is we got the budget for it. Hello. What kind of coffees do you guys have? Um, we have cappuccino, macchiato, What's like latte, the best coffee? Cappuccino to me. Can we get two of them? Of course. I think my favorite thing is going to be to watch back the difference. Like if we put it like side by side the full day, I think that would be really interesting. Like me chaotically in my hotel room making coffee and then this is a cappuccino. It looks so much better than that, that sad coffee that we made. Wow. Well, let's put it this way. <laughs> this is not taste nothing. Like the coffee that I made yesterday. That is the milkiest, creamiest coffee ever. Do you see this foam on top? That is an amazing coffee. Sheer difference. I'm so happy right now. Not me like pretending yesterday, like, you know, maybe we're gonna have a terrible day tomorrow. Cut to me having an amazing day. What can I say? Maybe you people enjoy the fine things in life. Is this cold enough for me to try it? I can't try it. Why do you make this coffee so hot? 
Why is there chunks in it? I don't know if that's hotel bed bugs, but we're gonna know whether I get food poisoning or not. So Google is telling me that one of the places where you can find like the cheapest things to eat is in Chinatown. That might be the only way that we might actually find something to eat alongside our coffee. Because there's a lot of walking in this video. By the time we get there, hopefully this will be a normal temperature. So we just go to Chinatown because Google tells me that there's a place here called Spongy's Cafe, which apparently has $1 sponge cakes. And then we still have $4 for the rest of the day. Big brain energy. So we're gonna see. I find it hard to believe that there really is a place they sell something for $1 just in general in New York City. My red flag alarms. There's a few flavors for like $1.25 to $1.50. There's cookies for $5, which is the budget for the whole day. Which one do you recommend? The holiday sponges or the purple yam? Literally a $1.25 breakfast in Manhattan. Do you know how insane that is? Maybe I'm a genius. Am I a genius? Or do I just have a Google Maps account? I mean, in a normal place, I know you're probably thinking a dollar is a lot of money. Yes, you're right. But in New York City, it's like three cents. The one that they recommended is actually the purple yam sponge. I thought it was gonna be like cake, but it's not. Should we have a look inside the purple yam? You ready? Here's the shot. It is a yam. It is purple. It's scrum de la yam. Is this purple? I love being colorblind. It's not purple? What? Wow. That is incredible. For one dollar. That is the most delicious sponge cake possibly ever. Like, wait, because I actually have no words for a second. It is so soft and moist. It's not dry at all. It literally melts in your mouth. It melts a little bit too quick for one dollar. Can you melt a little bit slower? This is really good. It just is a good breakfast. And yes, the bottom of this, it's not the best quality coffee. But what can you expect? Beggars are not choosers. There's a sentence that applies to this and I'm gonna agree with it. The reason why I want to make this video is because I've been in New York City for a while now and I find it very expensive. And I was thinking, how can people live? I guess it's more about where I am and how expensive it is to live here. I'm gonna take my coffee and I want to go and do something fun, maybe go to the park. I truly am a firm believer that there's a lot of free things that you can do that are still fun because I've lived in major cities, like I've lived in London for a long time and I've never spent a cent to do any activity. So I'm thinking like, let's go to the park, let's do something fun that doesn't cost money, which is difficult. It's getting increasingly difficult these days, but I do believe that it's possible. The car should be here in three minutes. It's so nice to not have to prepare the places we're going to because we have to walk so much. But I was just thinking about it. If this car journey is like $50, it's not even that far. Coming back is under $50. It's like $100 in cars. The coffee, the Empire State Building, this is adding up to like 50% of our budget. And we haven't even eaten anything. Stress, panic, budgeting panic. Budget is budgeting, that's for sure. The name of this place we're going to is called Dominic Ansel Bakery. And it's really fit. It's got like 10,000 reviews on Google. It is a really popular bakery. I'm gonna show you some of their bakes. I normally wouldn't go there. When you got the budget, you wanna go there. It's looking better than the sponges from yesterday. It's a cookie and there's milk inside. Like what? Can I get the glass of milk served on a cookie, please? Like, how much is this gonna cost though? Me trying to zoom in on Google Maps to see the prices. Is that a K? Isn't it? <laughs> Me checking for gold flakes. Okay, wait, let me check the prices. 24 pieces. It's $160 for 20 miniature pastries? Do I have the budget for the whole day? I don't know. Wait, this doesn't even look that good. How much is gonna be a croissant? This is like tiny miniature like cream puffs with no cream. Oh, Jesus. Looking at this one, maybe the Nutella milk bread? That's a whole cake for $40. It looks really good. Definitely the maple pecan French toast. But also this, also everything. There's even another area here with macaroons. It wasn't just what we saw in the front. Man, didn't think it was gonna be that difficult. Here I am budgeting the $500. This sounds insane, like literally, not normal. I mean, the little milk cup thingy, also the macaroons, 
Also the frozen s'mores. What? A frozen s'more? Mm. I want one of those. And these look even better. Look at the brown butter yuzu tart. The passion fruit one. Mm. Maybe this one as well. And maybe this one. No, me trying to decide. The triple cheesecake, one of the Nutella breads. You want that warmed up? Yes. You want that warmed up as well? Yes, please. Yeah. All right, so give me one second. So I have a pavlova triple cheesecake, a frozen s'more, yes. Nutella milk bread, and a ham and cheese croissant. Perfect. Can I have a name for your frozen s'more? Raphael. This is the frozen s'more. We've got a couple more things coming, so it may hit the frozen s'more already. Is this together? That is incredible. I don't know what's on the inside. I guess we'll find out eventually, but burnt sugar, marshmallow -y. literally perfect. Oh, sorry. And we got more to try. So we're gonna go outside, find a quiet place to try everything. This is a frozen s'more. So on the inside, I think it's ice cream. I don't even know. Or is it just a s'more? What's on the inside? It's like frozen ice cream on the inside. And it tastes like banana. This is so weird. I'm never gonna be get rid of this marshmallow. I'm never gonna beat the, the marshmallow allocations. Look at this. Isn't that insane? It's like a chocolate covered. I don't even know, is it banana flavor? What is this? How do they put an ice cream in it if the outside is burned? Like I saw them literally put this under fire. I am so confused by this item. I want to make something very clear. Obviously there is a theme to this video and I want this to be fun and enjoyable and I want to spend money to show you fun items. I would normally never spend $50 at a bakery. Like, that sounds insane to me. I don't have money to be spending, like, on a bakery, but we did for this video, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Like, I'm trying to not feel guilty about it. A Nutella bread? Oh my god. It's like Nutella nuts on top, I think. And then look at the back, and it's super buttery. Ooh, no, because I'm gonna go for it. Hey, hey, how's it going, Jacob? This is so good. How do you make Nutella taste so expensive? Actually, how do you make this so expensive if it's made with Nutella? That is pretty incredible. It's got this crunchy, like, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what the crunchy things are on top, but it's giving. I... It's honestly like a Nutella cinnamon bun, but lighter. It's light, so it tastes more expensive. I mean, it is more expensive. Like, I could probably buy a whole box of Cinnabons. The softness of the bread. I mean, it is a bakery, but do you see this? It's so, like, delicate. That is the word that I've never used, but I gotta use to describe this. So the... Oh, I just broke it. The other thing that I got is a cheese and ham croissant, but I broke it. Not the public ASMR. So this is cheese and ham. It doesn't look like much, but it looks good. I'm gonna bite this on the side. That is, the pastry is incredible. I will say the filling, there's barely any filling in it. For a $50 breakfast, actually this is more than a $50 breakfast because $8 on the coffee, $50 on the car. So this is in reality, like a $150 breakfast. That is pretty damn delicious. I'm trying to show you how like on the inside, it's not too filled, which it makes it a little bit disappointing. I feel like their speciality is the sweet stuff, not the savory ones, but I'm not mad. I did enjoy the $1 sponges. I thought it was nice. Is this better? Yes. I mean, it costs literally 50 times more, but is this enjoyable? Is this an incredible breakfast? Yes, it is. How the hell did they make this? Of course they serve it on a Harry Potter wand. They gotta be making some witchcraft in order to toast a marshmallow and put ice cream in the center. And it's still holding? What? What is this? We walked to this place called Little Island. I've never heard of it, but it's free. I don't know if you used to have to make a reservation or if you had to pay like $5 for entrance. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but now, right now, it's for us to it. It honestly kind of looks like a place you probably have to pay to go in, which is literally perfect for the video, to show that it's possible to have a fun time without having to pay $50 Ooh, to go to the top of the Empire State Building. It's really relaxing, quiet, sipping on my coffee, looking around, thinking, nobody knows this cost me zero dollars. 
and you can see literally like the Empire State Building. You see the river. From this way, you kind of see like the city skyline. It's it's great. There's a lot going on. Have we just joined someone's optical illusion? They put something weird in that purple yam, spongy. I'm gonna give you my best shot. One, two. It's like looking at the background of Instagrammer's photos. It is very relaxing here, but I can't fully relax because all I've eaten today so far is that little sponge cake, a tiny little $1.25 yam sponge cake. So I feel like we should go get something to eat. Like I'm ready. After all these steps, walking up and down the little island, maybe not so little. So I'm thinking, I heard that there's this place in New York City that is famous for the $1 pizza slice. I don't know how real that is. It doesn't seem real, let's be honest. Maybe it was real like in 2015, that kind of seems plausible. There's no way there's a place in this city that sells a slice of pizza for $1. But we will test it out. I'm gonna go to the location. It's on Google Maps still, but I wouldn't be shocked if we get there and they say it's $5. And I'm gonna say I can't afford it. And I'm gonna go to my hotel room and cry myself to sleep. Right now we're on the way to the Empire State Building because I wanted to go to a place where we get a view because yesterday by this time I think we went to Little Island. What is the opposite of like on the most expensive side of the same experience and obviously the Empire State Building. Because it was like a last minute thing, the total price for the Empire State Building was $90. $90. I'm trying to add up everything like with all the taxes and everything that we've done so far. Let me do the coffee, car bakery, the current car, and then the Empire State Building, which was $90, brings the experience of up to now, including the Empire State Building, to $264. Let me zoom in to make sure you guys read this right. Wait, because I know things are expensive these days. Not my bank account calling me, asking, what is going on? This building behind me is the Empire State Building. I don't think you guys fully understand the size of this, so I'm gonna show you. This is the size of the Empire State Building. Not me changing my mind. Like, that's the biggest building. You had to pick the windiest day to come to the Empire State Building. It's giving emo. Cause tonight will be the... Personally, I like to be greeted by a miniature Empire State Building. It makes sense when you think about it. So I'm gonna show you the view. And I think now we're about to go through the security part. Hopefully this is fine to bring you guys along. All through security, I was beeping a little bit, but I think it was because of my jewelry. I mean, it could also be that I have 24 cameras attached to me. All the construction sounds have me exhausted. I don't think I could build this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, but why are these screens low-key super realistic? They kind of let you walk around like this whole floor, like around it. So you do get a view from basically each side, which is kind of ideal. It's kind of great. There's a lot of windows here. It is so high up, it doesn't even feel real. Look at the size of like the taxis and the people. I swear the helicopter is slightly below us. This makes the Statue of Liberty look so small. Please exit left. So this is the 86th floor, which feels very high up. We also booked the 102nd <coughs> floor. It's like 20 floors higher than this. So we're gonna see this one and then we're gonna head upstairs. I am mentally prepared for how windy this is gonna be. Actually, I brought a hat. Is it time to wear the hat? How windy does this seem outside? Not too bad, right? It's not very windy, it turns out. It's actually strangely relaxing. There's heaters. It's a great addition. I went to the Empire State Building and my favorite part was the heaters. It is kind of freaky to look down, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow. I'm looking at the World Trade Center now. How wild is that? I've probably been to most of these places this week and I still cannot recognize anything from here. Okay, 
so let's see the other opposite side. I think this is Central Park right here. This building is so big that I swear this is more than I've walked all day. Let's be honest, it is completely different than what we did yesterday when we went to that tiny little island. But I, you know, one of them cost nothing. The other one cost $90. So I wish I knew more about New York so I could place where I am. I think that would make this experience better. I wish there was like signs. Are there? Oh, there are. There are signs. For example, if you read this sign, you'll realize that over there we have caution, low fence. It must be like a suburb I've never heard of. So if there wasn't enough views, we have one more. So we're going up now to the one that is high. Yes. We are visiting. I was like, I'm not scared of heights up to now. Because your feet are right on the edge. You're right. Like, there's literally one sheet of glass between me and uh, death. So this was annoyingly a pleasant experience. And I know the tickets are expensive, but I found it worth it. Like It was a great afternoon. And we actually spent a lot of time here. I just realized this is the shadow of the Empire State Building from the Empire State Building. There's something freaky about it. Is it going down? Yes. Yeah. One thing that I definitely think it's worth noting, it's how much walking it is involved when you're like on a budget. You know, normally I'd get on the train, I would get an Uber, but when you're trying to not spend a lot of money, obviously you have to do a lot of walking, which is a good thing, fitness, I guess. I think we're getting close to the pizza place. It's somewhere on this street. Is it even a real place? I don't know. I found it. Wait a minute. Why does it say $1.50? <laughs> They literally put a sticker on it. We found one dollar pizza place, but they literally put a sticker on the name of the restaurant and now it's called one dollar fifty cents pizza. Inflation. Welcome to the world in 2023. Global crisis. That's when you know. When they had to put a little paper sticker on top of the name of the restaurant. But I mean, it is better than nothing to be completely honest because so far we've only spent $1.25 for the whole day. I mean, we've barely eaten. But we've been having a good day regardless. Let's get our $1.50 pizza. It better not be tax excluded because otherwise this is, that's it. That's it for the day. We wrap up the video here. So let's see. Um, could I get one slice of the cheese pizza, please? The one dollar pizza slice, which ended up in reality being $1.50, which honestly, I can't be mad. Like, it must be really stressful to be running business in this current economic situation, but Honestly, it's a slice of pizza. It's a good size. It's doing its job. It's crispy in the bottom. They had a few options. Was it the best looking pizza that I've seen in New York City? No. Is it still pizza? Yes. Is there one chunk of something in there that wasn't supposed to go on this pizza? Maybe, but it'll be fine. It's pizza. Sometimes that's exactly what you want. A plain, simple slice of pizza that costs $1.50. This brings the total of the video so far to $2.75. The good thing about this slice of pizza is it doesn't flop because it's, it's a little bit towards stale. <laughs> but not in a bad way, in a $1.50 kind of way. Honestly, it does the job. It tastes exactly like what I would expect. The crispiness of it makes it really enjoyable. It doesn't have the most insane amount of cheese, that's for sure. But because it's so crispy, it kind of tastes like almost like a crispy bread cheese bake or something. Like something you'd pull up with ingredients in your house with bread. Listen to the crunch. I think I can give you an ASMR. It does more than I was expecting, honestly, for $1. Well, $1.50. Tastes good as most slices of pizza that I've had in New York. I've literally not one bad thing to say. Not me filming outside someone's house. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. It's honestly better than I expected. We're like in the afternoon now, and all I've spent today was $2.75. This is actually being more successful than I thought. Oops, just made eye contact with someone.
it was awkward. So far, everything better than expected. I'm gonna carry on eating and walking because we have to do a lot of walking today and I was thinking of going to Central Park. Parks in general, regardless of where you live, are kind of like a good idea of things to do. So I went on Google and I found this thing like hidden places that most people don't know in Central Park, which I'm sure you can do for like your local parks. And that will always be free because a hidden spot is never something they will charge you for. So that is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna carry on walking. I'm about four, five blocks away. So this is not the worst walk of the day. This one's actually pretty easy. The pizza is pizzaing. I really have no complaints. Maybe you don't need money to have fun. Or you need five dollars, which you don't need a whole lot of money. I actually placed an order for pizza at a very expensive restaurant. We're inside the Empire State Building at the Starbucks Reserve, a more elevated version of Starbucks. Like, it literally is perfect for this video. I was like, I cannot believe this is happening. Thank you, universe. I thought it'd be fun while we're waiting for the pizza and pick it up. I wonder if I asked them, can you make me something expensive? What they will say? This Starbucks is so cool. They sell pizza in here. I mean, obviously we're waiting for, a, no offense, but better quality one. It doesn't look like a Starbucks. It's like a restaurant inside the Empire State Building. That's pizza and Starbucks. My boy. Look at that skinny little sandwich. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. What is like the most expensive drink you guys ever made? Like something crazy with like loads of additions. So we have like a whiskey barrel. Okay. I don't know if you ever had that. It's like a cold brew, an aged cold brew. Okay. We can put like sweet cream foam in there for you. That you sounds know. good. That sounds really good actually. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. We just ordered an aged, did she say an aged whiskey? It amounted to $18 for one coffee. I actually have no words. This is, I think an $18 was it 17 I don't know 17 or 18 dollar coffee I was expecting it to be big and it's the tiniest drink <laughs> I mean it looks really good though it looks amazing all the drizzle and everything so the name of the lady who made this is Maya so shout out to Maya for whipping up this beauty but also having the audacity of charging me 18 dollars for it you deserve a raise it's a cold brew with cold foam a fior de latte what is that? A caramel drizzle and a mocha drizzle. That tastes like a cocktail. Is there alcohol in it? That literally tastes like a cocktail. That tastes like whiskey. <laughs> That's a pretty amazing coffee. I want to show you, because it's got so much drizzle in it, right? You'd think it's too sweet, but it really isn't. The cold foam is perfect, everything's perfect. It's like the perfect drink. I'm trying to enjoy my most expensive drink in the world while I'm on my way to buy the most expensive pizza that I've ever had. What a day, what a day. I know this is for a video. I know this is, obviously, that was the whole point. I guess what I didn't realize before when I came up with, with the idea was that it's coming out of my bank account regardless whether it's for a video or or no, me being left on red by the taxi drivers. <laughs> expensive ride of my entire life. I'm like, I don't think I have enough money for the pizza anymore. So we're here at this place called Pazza Naughty. If you guys look it up, the prices are kind of insane. This is the most I've ever paid for a pizza. So we ordered a truffle pizza, which is the most expensive in the menu, a truffle mac and cheese, and something with shrimp in it. I could be wrong, I'm gonna pay for it now, I'm gonna find out, but I think it came down to like close to a hundred dollars. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more with tips. Got it. Wow, they were so rude in there that I actually have no words. That was probably some of the rudest service, I swear, of any restaurant I've been to in New York. She ignored me for a good three minutes while I was standing next to her. And then she was like, do you want something? <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with people here? I'm gonna start with what I believe to be a disappointment. This is the pizza. First of all, for how much I paid for the pizza, I thought there was gonna be at least some shavings of actual truffle, but in reality, it's just truffle oil. This smells like truffle oil. Mushrooms, damn, it's delicious. <laughs> I hate that I like it, I hate it. The mushrooms are perfect. It doesn't have a lot of cheese, but damn, when I compare this pizza to the $1 one, 
it actually makes a difference. It's got mushrooms, but it's like a combination of mushrooms, like oyster mushrooms, button mushrooms, and then onions in it, and it's pretty incredible. And I thought it was burned, but it's just the edges. It's kind of like a flatbread pizza, like a crisp bread pizza. I hate that I love it. <laughs> After the lady was so rude to me, and I still tip them. This is pretty incredible. Damn it. I'm completely open to the idea. You know, sometimes I kind of want these videos to go in a way. And then when it doesn't, I'm disappointed. But I would never lie to you guys. I usually leave it up to the universe. And the universe said, if you have $500 for pizza, you will have a better experience than if you have $1 for pizza. And that is what happened. On the real though, obviously I'm filming these videos and for me, this is very much a justification to go and buy these things. I would not normally spend this much money on food. This is crazy. This whole day is insane to me. And I didn't grow up with money. I didn't have money to go and eat something like this. That just wasn't me. I wouldn't even dream of sitting here and telling you that if you have one dollar for pizza, that you should be happier, that that's better. Because it's not, this is better, obviously. But I guess the point actually ends up becoming that if you have $1 for pizza, you can still have an amazing day, which I did have an amazing day. I had a great day in New York City with the $1 pizza. <laughs> This is the truffle mac and cheese. Once again, no real truffle in it, I don't think. Maybe, actually. The portion is not horrible. It's quite heavy. But I mean, considering how much I paid for it, I guess it is kind of horrible. Look at this. I mean... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is so good. I think it might be real truffle in it because I can taste real truffle in here. And there's like black pieces in it. That's what's going on in my brain and my stomach right now. This is insanely delicious. I am a little bit gagged that I have like $80 left for the day. When I feel like, yes, we went to amazing places and we had great experiences, but most of the money is being spent in cars and tipping people, which I guess is part of being in America, you know? You see that. This is like the perfect mac and cheese to get as takeout because it just, it's holding so well. Like it tastes and looks fresh. This is so good. I love it. The last thing that I got, cause I thought the whole meal is like past and pizza and bread. So I thought maybe we need to get some protein. So I saw they had some shrimp. I just didn't expect it to be so small, but it does seem kind of nice. It's like barbecued shrimp. It looks pretty good. Oh my god, I, I get the price. I get why they were rude. This is so delicious. It's not overcooked, not undercooked. I hate when I go to a restaurant and I get shrimp and the shrimp is like weird. It's doing weird texture thingies. I'm like, why is the shrimp feeling like jelly? This is so, so good. Wow, this is incredible. I kind of liked everything. I kind of think this meal was worth how much I paid for it, which is insane, but I can tell this was made with good ingredients. This was really well made. I just, there's nothing bad I can say. We had a $20 Starbucks today and this mac and cheese is still the highlight of the day. It's literally the best mac and cheese ever. You can not buy this at the Cheesecake Factory and you'd probably be paying the same for these items. Not me thinking about going to steal the squirrel's nuts. I'm like, 10 cents for those nuts. Oh, not him considering. Not him being like, 20 cents, best I can do. Aww. Okay, no, this is getting too close. By the way, I just want to make sure I'm not playing it down. How much walking it was involved in the whole day. I honestly think I spent maybe three to four hours, not exaggerating, walking. Just from place to place. I am tired. There's this place in central... Not the squirrel still trying to attack me. I made a joke about taking their nuts and now they want to charge me. They said 20 or 22% tip. So there's this place inside Central Park called Belvedere Castle and I think that's where we're gonna go because guess what? You already know it. It's free. Free things. Wow, more steps. As if we haven't done enough exercise for the day. It's really pretty. See, there's a lot of pretty places where you can come to with no money. We have two dollars, 25 cents to spend. Wow, I feel rich. <laughs> At the same time, we had a good day. 
we had fun. All I really want now, maybe we can get like noodles, like go to maybe a local Chinese supermarket, no like Target, not Walmart, because we're not gonna find anything. A local place, maybe we can find like some noodles or something that will cost 225. I think it's possible. So I decided to come to H Mart because I'm thinking that maybe this is like a place where we can find things that maybe we can eat later in the hotel room. Honestly, I kind of want noodles, something like that. And this just seemed like the biggest supermarket kind of thing. We have two dollars to our name. Wow, a jar of honey for ten dollars. Oh, I love these, but I can't get them. I really like these. I'm thinking if we go for noodles, that would be the best way because I mean, even the vegetables, even the noodles are like $3.99. Oh no, a can of vegetables is $2.99. What about vegetables? Vegetables can be expensive, right? Wow, $2.99 per pound. I don't know how much this is. It's probably not a pound to be fair. So if this is $2.99 per pound, how much does that amount to? Is there scales anywhere? Oh my God. The bag of chips is $6.99. Not the cookies. I want the cookies for $6.99. Maybe this is it. This is four packets for $10.99. That means each of them is $2.50. That seems expensive. Oh, what about here? Okay, $2.49. That works okay. 249 that's still a little bit too high. Oh, look at this one. 99 cents. Perfect. Found something. So this one's 99 cents. And this one. How much do I have? 225? So I could have these two and probably this. Well, I guess this is all I can bring because I don't even know how much this is going to be. This is 99 cents. This is... We'll find out. I saw some vegetables for $10, so... Could be anything. We're about to find out. Hello. I was thinking, we have $80 left. What exactly can I buy with $80? When in doubt in how you can spend money, you come to literally the most touristic place on earth. That is Times Square. We're in Times Square right now, which I have a love-hate relationship with. We've mentioned in a few videos. There's this store called the Hershey's Chocolate World, which is kind of like the M&M store, but for Hershey's chocolate. I famously do not like Hershey's chocolate, so I don't really know if I'm gonna go in and find something that I like, but I see they sell Reese's products, which I do like. We might stay away from the Hershey's at the Hershey's store, which makes perfect sense, but we're still gonna go and do it. I invented this thumbnail face. I was the original thumbnail face. And now it's here at the door. <laughs> is this on sale? Is this for sale actually? I don't even like this, this zero, but this is kind of incredible. <gasps> it's a money bank. The good thing is there's a lot of merch in here, not only chocolate, which is perfect. I literally have hundreds of videos in which I'm dissing Hershey's chocolate, not me coming to the headquarters. Now the CEO slapping me. $24. I literally want to vomit. It's going to be more difficult to spend the $80 than I thought. So apparently this store is also the home of the s'mores. They make giant s'mores. Like, I didn't even know a place made s'mores. So I don't know why they need to call it the official place for s'mores. Because I don't think there's competition. Never seen it on sale. We're going to get the s'mores thingy. So they have a Reese's, a Kit Kat, and gotta wait for the ad to bring the rest of the menu. Play elevator music. Any, any second now. Then they also have the Hershey's and the Hershey's cookies and cream. Anything with the name Hershey's on it, it's a no. So I think I'm gonna go for the Kit Kat. Kit Kat s'mores sounds like an experience. Also, I really want the lemon Kit Kat milkshake. I kinda want both. If I buy the s'mores and I buy the s'mores candle, that's basically the whole budget. This one is kind of giving. It's like the three parts of the s'mores, the crackers, the marshmallow, the chocolate. Maybe they did something. Um, that was way more expensive than I thought. I might have just spent the whole money on, not quite, but almost. We got one s'mores and one drink. It was like $30. I'm gonna pick something else for Salem, like a little teddy thingy to bring for Salem. And that will basically be the whole budget. But I will show you what the milkshake and the s'mores look like because I'm not even crazy about a lemon flavor, but they do such a good job at selling you something in here. that it's like, it's a lot. This looks insane. Wait, this is kind of giving. I didn't think it was gonna give. Why is he giving? Not me getting that little tray from the corner. Not me being like, you guys using that tray? 
even if you're not like super into lemon, you have to agree with me that this is, it's kind of giving. And you know, this stuff is so overpriced. Like, I don't want to be rude in front of them when they just made it. But this stuff is insanely overpriced. This is like a money trap for tourists. But, wait, doesn't it look so good? <laughs> I'm actually losing my mind, this looks good. So it's Kit Kat with whipped cream and a cream base. That is literally like a Starbucks lemon frappuccino on steroids. When this mixes with the bottom, it's game over. Not my $20 sugar bomb. Now this one kind of gagged me a little bit. Are you kidding me? Why does it look so good? Wait, this is kind of genius. Look at the way you're supposed to eat it. They give you like a little... Is it Hershey's chocolate in the center? <laughs> It's so sweet. That is so much sugar. It's sugar on sugar on sugar. I find it hard to believe that someone can actually eat this whole thing. I don't think you can have one more bite. I think they accidentally invented diabetes type 3. This is crazy. It's not enjoyable. Wow. I'll have a small diet coke with my diabetes type 3 bomb, please. You know me saying this and I just look to the left and literally there's like 50 people here eating this. This is from the bakery that we got breakfast from. I also bought this because I was doing 3D chess in my head. I was like, I'm gonna want a snack after all the activities today. And I want it to be like a fancy looking snack for the video. And fancy looking it is. This is from that bakery, Dominic Ansel. This looks unreal. Like, that actually doesn't look real. This is exactly what I wanted to show you guys for this video. This is the triple cheese cheesecake, I believe. No, because this is the shot. Not me eating this with a plastic cutlery. This is exactly the kind of foods that I wanted to include in this video. Especially for the $500 diet. Because I just think that's what people are expecting. No words. That's the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh my god. I actually have no words. There is literally nothing else in it but three types of cheese. So it's different layer, different layer, different layer. Each of them tasting different and better than the other one. I actually have no words. There's a little bit of crust in the bottom. I gotta tell my brain they were on a very specific video budget and we can't live like this every day. Let me tell my brain and my stomach really quick. Brain, this is a once in a lifetime. Stomach. This is a once in a lifetime. So don't get this taste started. <laughs> this is the purple one, which I don't know what it was. Lavender maybe? So let's see what the lavender <gasps> It's so pretty. Oh my god. It's dark on the inside. If this was Ube, it would be amazing. Wow. That tastes like blackberry. It's very berry. This tastes like if you go to like a magic castle or something in a children's book. That's what it tastes like. It's so much flavor, it's so intense. I don't even know. I don't possess quite the words. White chocolate, blackberries, blueberries, lavender as well, maybe? But definitely white chocolate. And then it's sitting on a crust of meringue. Like Swiss meringue kind of thing. It's insane. I can't even pick a favorite. I'm losing my mind. I'm thinking of the snack that we had yesterday, which was nothing. We didn't have a snack yesterday. Two completely different days. When it comes to the food particularly, I don't want to be like, oh, it wasn't that much there for us to spend $5 and $500. Like, I had a good experience in both. I think that's offensive to say that. I think that would be gaslighting my audience. And sometimes I see people saying that, but in reality, sometimes when you have more money to spend on food, you have a superior time. The food tastes incredible. It is what it is. There's no way around it. It's so annoying. It's annoying, but it's the truth. But I think it's more annoying when people pretend like a $1 Uber cake tastes better than this because it doesn't. It might happen once in a lifetime, but in this scenario, this is so superior to the point where I'm speechless. I'm just gonna eat my $500 cheesecake in peace and quiet. Wow. That gold flake on top? Yeah. You know I wasn't gonna leave it here. I just literally ate gold. Hmm. Interesting. Not me washing the $50 cakes with a Diet Pepsi. Just like in Paris. Hopefully it fits in here. 
And I believe this one is the flavor paste. I hope at least this is spicy. Make me feel something for 99 cents. <laughs> I think this is very, very spicy. Let me give it a lick. Whoa, that tastes pretty delicious actually. I'm gonna put this in the coffee machine because this is the only way to do this. We're gonna pour the water and we're gonna let it brew. And we got one apple. <gasps> oh, is that coffee? Why is the water colored with coffee? Oh no. The water, it's kind of brown. It smells like coffee. No, 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 no. Oh no. I made coffee noodles. I just wasted 99 cents. Great, just great. Ouch. Oh, I hate today. Okay, at least it smells like ginger. Can the flavor save this? I hope so. This is the spiciness. It's gonna be like a spicy cappuccino noodle. Gochujang shrimp. I don't know what I'm doing. Always. But right now, in this very moment, more than ever before. Might as well use a coffee stirrer for this. <laughs> wow. What is wrong with this coffee machine? What kind of coffee machine produces coffee without... Oh wait, I didn't remove the capsule. Oh yeah, that explains it. Great. Is coffee noodles how I expected today to end? No, not in the slightest. But is coffee noodles the way today is ending? Unfortunately, yes. And I'm eating it with a fork. If it wasn't enough, no chopsticks. Okay, so these are noodles cooked in coffee water. I will be really honest, the ginger is so powerful that I can't smell any coffee. It might be that it's actually fine. I will say I had a pretty good day. Surprisingly, I know I probably ate very little today, but I actually was so busy walking that I feel fine. I'm not hungry, just tired. Noodles. Overwhelmingly gingery, but surprisingly, I can't taste any coffee. I mean, when it comes to the noodles, at least, I'm not sure about the broth. I don't think I'm brave enough to venture into the broth. The interesting thing is the noodles in the apple cost a total of $2.49. In, in reality, we had $2.25 to spend. Does that mean that we went over it by 21 cents? I could have hidden the price from you guys, but it's the truth. It is what it is. I think we went over it by 19 cents. And I'm not sure if we're counting tax for the whole video. If we're excluding tax, then maybe we actually stayed under budget. But if you're counting tax, I technically went over budget. These are pretty nice. I have nothing but this. I honestly thought I was gonna be able to get something sweet from like a Korean supermarket. But the thing is, in New York City, everything is so expensive. Maybe if I was anywhere else in the world, $5 would probably be enough to have a relatively normal day. But Manhattan specifically is a very expensive place. I think it's the most expensive place I've ever been to. That is the reason why I wanted to make this video because I think the comparisons will be very interesting. We're gonna see tomorrow what's gonna happen. I'm just predicting that it's going to be two completely different days. The most expensive apple in the world. Literally, this apple costs $1.50. I feel like this video crossed social experiment, also food challenge, also kind of a tour to a city. So it was definitely interesting. I think there's a potential for this to become a series in different cities because New York City is the most expensive place I've ever been to. And I feel like if I went to like, imagine a small town in America, this could be so much more interesting maybe. Like I would probably, no, I was gonna say I would struggle to spend $500, but the reality is I probably wouldn't in this current times, which is both depressive and makes me scared. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want this to be a series, don't forget to give the video a like. I know some of you love the outdoor kind of vlogs. I know a lot of you prefer concept videos. I kind of am in the middle. I like both. I don't know. So you guys let me know by giving the video a like, by subscribing, switching the notifications on, you kind of let me know what kind of videos you prefer and what kind of videos I should be making next. So you know what to do. Tap that subscribe button, the notification bell, and thank you for making these videos possible. I love you guys. I love taking you on journeys with me and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.